Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Sorry I haven't had any videos out this week at all. Uh, it's now Friday, so yeah, time really flies. Uh, I've been really busy with some stuff. I did very little uh, Imperium so far this week. Um, but one thing I did say I wanted to uh, work on, uh, well, several things actually, but uh, uh, I wanted to build something for the Creel, and that is being a starter CV. Um, the MCRN got theirs now, the uh, the Pioneer. Um, now it's time for the Creel to get something. So I figured I would just build this one in a video, or multiple part videos, more, more than likely. Um, I highly doubt I could build one of these in about an hour's time, which I'd usually like to not have videos go longer than that. So I'm going to just kind of start something here in a minute, do my normal little pedestal thing with a uh, CV starter block. And uh, I'm going to try to base the design a little bit on the Creole gas, um, a little bit. Um, just and with the uh, stuff I learned about the new MCRN uh, starter CV, I kind of know or have a pretty good idea on how big it could be, how many thrusters it's going to need, and where I'll be at at CPU. I'd like to have it have the same functionality as the MCRN version, uh, being like a tier 2 um, that can uh, have a shield and other things in it. Um, and I think I know how to do it now. I didn't exactly know how to do it when I was starting that ship. That was uh, experimental, more or less. So on this one here, I'm going to mimic a little bit of the front part of this ship for now. Um, but I'm not, like, recreating that ship either. So it's uh, I want this to be something different. But I think I might be able to get by with the uh, general layout or shaping as what this ship is to some extent um, just scaled up and well obviously different so I guess let me turn on some symmetry and uh, I still like to do the hulls of most ships with symmetry on but I am uh, I'm getting away from doing that on the interiors I realized also going asymmetrical on the interior like the uh, the the new Pioneer was, um, gives me more room to put in things I would want to put in a ship. And, and when you're dealing with these starter CVs, um, you don't have a lot of space to really work with. So anything you can do um, is going to help out a lot. So having an asymmetrical interior allows you to place some stuff on one side and other stuff on a different side of the ship and set up your rooms a little differently giving you more essentially available space to do stuff with so that's kind of the the way i'm seeing it right now um so anyway here kind of trying to build up around the cockpit a little bit but what I really want is this to be kind of smooth like and curvy so right now I'm pretty angular here um, so what I want to do is do some transitions um, on the front here we'll start with that angle and see how it works out and then try to like migrate into other angles that support that see how that part comes out a lot of times I'm just kind of winging it um, I don't have like a real specific plan on what the ship is supposed to be or if it's even gonna work but that's a great thing about working with voxels if you don't like something you can do it again <laughs> essentially um, or replace parts of it and things like that So we're getting uh, slightly more of an angle here, but this isn't right yet. This isn't quite the angle I wanted, but it might work out. Um, although what I was really thinking of is something a little... Um, I'm missing that in-between angle here on the slope. So maybe I will start that part again here. 
so I can get this right. Now, I, I when I build stuff, I have a couple different ways of doing it. A lot sometimes on larger ships, I like to do a wire frame in blocks first um, to come up with a, a general shape. Um, I don't do that on every build though. Um, it depends. Like how big do I think this ship is going to be? Um, not not super big. So trying to plan that out in advance can be a little troubling, especially when I want to start throwing in parts. Um, so this one I kind of wanted to get a general idea, shape on how the front is and then try to intertwine the back of the ship to work with that. And also figure out, you know, how big, how wide, all that fun stuff on how the ship's going to be. But aesthetics are really important with the creel. Um, at least uh, the way I've been trying to do them. So that's kind of like my, my first goal, but my second goal, and it's right up there with the first one, is due to this being a starter CV, it needs to work as a good starter CV. And I would like to, you know, like I said, um, have similar function to the other ship as well. But I don't know. It's kind of fun building angles, though. I do like doing that. It's one thing I, I miss a little bit. I've been doing the MCR, and one of the, their, um, I don't know, tr things is they don't do much in curves. Um, I was doing that on purpose to try to keep them looking different than the other races. And uh, it's kind of where that comes out at. But now I'm dealing with Creo, and they're they're a lot different. They're, uh, of the three different uh, faction stuff that I've been building for, uh, basically the, the humans are similar to that of the uh, the, the Martians, but they have uh, more more curves on them, I guess, and a different color scheme, of course. Um, where the Creo, they're just totally unique from both other races. And that's where it gets a little tricky because trying to figure out how to figure out what I want for them is, uh, uh, I don't know, takes a little bit for sure. But I like the idea of being completely like open to like, hey, I can do anything I want. I don't have to follow um, or not use certain blocks because other things of other races use those blocks. I just kind of try to be very open with this. But with all, all pretty much all the designs I do at this point in time, most of them are based around um, a lot of angles. And I try to make things aerodynamic and smooth. Um, I don't like uh, big uh, jolts or uh, blocks that kind of stick out or that that blocky look I don't like that at all so anything I can do that's exactly opposite of that is typically what I uh, been going for and this one here I'm just playing with several different angle sets to try to come up with a uh, uh, interesting curve on the front that's kind of beveled on all sides um, As best you can with blocks, at least. I mean, so that's. I think this is kind of working here too. So, my only concern is, is that too steep all of a sudden there? I don't know. It might be all right. Okay, so following the general layout of this ship, it has something like that, and I guess maybe I will shut up and just do some while you're framing here because I'm going to figure this out. Um, well, after one more real block here. So I'll get one more block here to make the rest of this angle correct for now. Oh, and I guess one more here as well. And might as well finish this off then too.
As you can tell, I do an awful lot of block changes when I'm doing this stuff. <laughs> Oop. And then hit the button too many times. There we go. Okay. All right. So we got a pretty smooth front now. Okay. So over here, this is uh, wire framing. Let's say I go back a little bit. Um, and then what would happen is there would be an extension that's not too big, but just enough out over here. And then over here, coming off from there, would be essentially like some arms. And then this would taper back oops, into the ship over here. Um, to a width that's reasonable to pack in a hangar door uh, further back on the ship. So let's do a quick count here. Um, I'm going to go for the 5 by 9 hangar door again. So basically that is 9 blocks. So the outer walls of the hangar would have to be at a minimum of this row. Let me just go back a little bit with that. Now that's probably too far back, but um, okay. So we've kind of got that. Uh, I'm starting to realize that I think I've got these uh, these army things too far forward at this point. So I'm gonna take this out again and put this back uh, a few blocks. Now I'm kind of half wondering if they shouldn't angle down as well. So something, something like that, and then uh, taper back into the ship to the hangar door spot. I think that could work. Uh, now this is way too straight and long over here too. So all right. So I'm okay with all the stuff that's going on so far. Let's try to uh, angle this out better here. building a lot of this stuff too. I like to trim away unneeded blocks. Sometimes I have to put in blocks in place to uh, so I can place other blocks near it. But um, just easier if you can keep on trimming those out as you go. going to be in the arms. Um, it's a starter ship, so like unlike the SV down here, I don't have any guns or anything I can put in the arms. Um, maybe a uh, turret or something, which kind of look funky, but probably work out. I don't want to waste many blocks either. Having the arms in general is a bit wasteful for sure. But I guess one of their main points is they're going to have to hold thrusters. Now, that's another thing I want to figure out. How tall is this ship going to be? Um, 
let's just say that this might this is probably gonna get replaced with some form of glass here actually you know let's just grab glass okay armored windows I'm not ever gonna use non armored windows for exteriors of a ship even if it's a steel hauled starter ship they just don't have enough hit points um, in this case I'm not sure if I should be using this glass or not as opposed to the other glass but it's going to give me a lot better angling options and look more creel like I would say so maybe I'll do that uh, kind of backwards look again so rather than the, the cockpit being straight up forward it kind of like slopes back in here with a little bit of a lip over it. Which so kind of gives it the, a little bit more of a bug-like look, which I've also been trying to go for with this race. So I don't mind that so bad. Um, now what to do here though. I guess that kind of works. I don't have the, the roundy blocks in here yet, or the round, round glass, but maybe I can uh, address that. Um, let's take out these front three and take a look at some other glass options. Like what happens if I run this instead. So I could go around like that on both sides, or I could switch it around this way on both sides. I think that this way is the way I've been doing it with the other Krill ships. So I'm going to follow that, I think. All right. So far, so good. Now here, I think I want to end the glass don't want to over have too much glass up here. Um, but I'm not sure if I should run this wedge or the uh, little bit thicker one here. I guess that works, but this lip here is getting a well. It's thicker all the way across, really. So, yeah, I guess that works out. Um, now do I want to keep this bevel like that there? These are all the thoughts. I mean, I'm just talking out loud. I mean, this is what I'm thinking when I'm building this stuff, uh, what's running through my head, um, how I should try to do the body up, what's going to look better, what could I do here, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, I'm okay with all this so far. I do like the idea that it's using um, several different angle sets here and kind of com coming up with a, a more curvy look, which is exactly what I wanted, so. So do want to maximize interior space and try to plan out um, small farm, the hangar, the crew stuff, uh, all the other fun little details there. 
and then try to figure out how big this is size-wise compared to the other starter CB. Um, hold on a minute. Let me steal this one here a minute. I think you're just parked over here. I was messing with some thrusters. Um, this nearby so I can kind of get a size comparison. I'm using this a bit as a guide too because then I can kind of reference you know what can I do with uh, thrust and how big should it be and blah 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 blah. Now this one obviously is going to be wider than the other ship but probably not as long, I'm thinking. And let's see, over here, now I've got, for lift on this ship, and, and it can do the weight that it's got, which is, um, I'm gonna do uh, 480 K total uh, lift storage. Um, that's running eight, the two X1 lift thrusters on it, but it, placement is, is very important on where they are. So that is something I'm going to try to keep in check as well. Oops. So let's say these are the side arms here. Um, the landing gear I'm saying should probably be say this was the bottom of the ship so let me grab this landing gear here real quick this is temporary okay so this this is the bottom of the ship so I want the thrusters actually to come down to that um, the sidearms are probably also going to support the uh, the landing gear as well. So if I were coming down to there, and I want at least, we'll say at least two per side of these lift thrusters there. Um, this would actually give me a nice location to pop in some landing gear right on the inside of that. And this wouldn't be here at all. Okay, so now you can land on the front and you've got some front thrusters way out here, which is really good for handling and not having RCS. Um, so we're going to need some reverse thrusters here as well. Whoops. Um, try that for now. Wrong part. All right. Uh, let me try something different here. Someone's having a, a bevel like that. Yeah, I miss using the curvy blocks. It's been a while. I almost feel like I, I was losing touch with them. Like this awesome spans block right here. I miss it. I, I hardly used it at all with the MCRN. In fact, I don't think I used it at all with MCRN. It's a travesty. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so all right, so we've got some uh, we've got some thrusters there, um, strafing thrusters. Now that is a big thing on this this race as well, um, and something I learned from the other starter CV is I don't need much in strafing thrusters at all. In fact, this one only has one per side, but I just I put it way up on the front, kind of the outer edges. This ship here might even have a bigger advantage because it's further out yet. So what I'm thinking is 
Now this is a nice little destroyable thruster pod area, I guess, but um, this is a starter ship and not some crazy combat ship. So I could do something like that, and that would be it for its total strafing thrust. Which is actually quite cheap on CPU 2 overall. But I'm not sure about my little jangly, curvy stuff here. Maybe if I can get some flares in there, or some little pinchers or something, that will look right. Right now it kind of looks a little, eh, I don't know, hard to say. Now, looks-wise, I would love to add in a second one of these over here um, to keep it squared up with the thrusters on the bottom, but I know from the last build that it's just not needed, um, and it would hurt the ship later on. I'm trying to add in other features to it. Now, arm transition from hull to this part. Um, again, I want it to be nice and smooth-like. Um, I'm not scared of using different blocks. I could mount some actual uh, CB weapons on here, um, launchers and things like that, because I would have nice spots for that stuff. But I know I can because that that would that would kill me on CPU, and you're not going to find that kind of stuff on starter ships because uh, those guns also require a lot of rare resources and high player unlock levels. Maybe an upgrade path later on. But then, then I wouldn't think the hull would be strong enough, being made of steel, to where you know you probably want a combat armored ship. Then, and that I can't do, having a starter. There's just no way. It would be so limited, um, and so heavy that it wouldn't be able to do the functions it needs to do. I do wish there was some kind of neural interface to this game too where I could just like mentally think of the block I want and the rotation I would like it and it just puts it there for me. That would be so cool. Wishful thinking, right? <laughs> So this is kind of following through with the same type of curvy pattern. So far, I think it's on track. Um, again, trying to go with a kind of a sleek looking ship. I do worry though, maybe I'm not tall enough. Um, and this is the part that's gonna suck. And I've tried other options. Um, 
like louvered doors and ramps and things like that and I always end up going back to the traditional hangar door simply because of hit points mainly I mean that's that's the biggest thing um, and I now realize too that I'm probably going a little too small on the rest of the ship if I expect to get a hangar door in here um, there they are. but I better do this now rather than later and again the 5 by 9 it causes me to have a lot of boxier bulkier looking ships at doing this but I think the value of having that size door outweighs the uh, cosmetic things that or lack of sleekness that you might be able to otherwise have. Okay, I'm going to take a look at one other Creel thing too, just for ideas. Um, this one was, uh, yeah, this guy here. So this was a level 10 Creel ship. Um, it was kind of like a toned down version of what the Gast was, kind of compressed and micrized, I guess. Um, for more f efficiency versus its size, I think. And it was supposed to be a cheaper ship anyway, so. But what I did there is these angles, where instead of being what they are here, were actually at a 22.5. So something like that. Um, Just investigate this a minute. See how the overall shape with something like this going down the sides would look in comparison. And I like this better, although it's bulkier, but it gives it's going to give me some more space on the inside of the ship. And hopefully mesh up better with this hangar door, which is going to be hard to conceal. Um, or, well, not conceal, but to make a fit right with the shape of the ship and not have it stand out like hey I'm a big box back here but ultimately so many of the ships I build are about trying to disguise a big box because you're going to get your best efficiency with a big box for size and block usage and all that fun stuff okay all right so far um, this angle here, I want everything as smooth as possible, so I'm going to try to make a little bit of a change here. Um, I kind of want a bit of separation down this row, essentially making, trying to make it look like this whole wing piece here is a separate part from the ship. So rather than just swinging over there with straight up blocks, I'm going to try to make it look like it's on some kind of swivel mechanism. That would be so cool if you could get this to work in game. Um, but uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, something along those lines like that. Kind of a big bulky swing arm that comes out and attaches this part of the ship except I'm going to want it bulky enough to actually have room on the inside over there too and I probably should just take this out of the block row here then So then, all this old block stuff can go bye-bye. Alright, I think that'll work out. And this might, this is a bit of wire framing again here. I want to see how that would play out if I followed up an angle from over here. I want 
that. Hey, I'm gonna have to use that angle. No, I'm not. <laughs> There's two different angle sets um, of these uh, blocks I use. These are the old ones, um, and I use these a lot. My biggest problem why I don't like to use these as much anymore is the uh, how their uh, how the UVs are on them with with color and texturing them. Um, they're typically problematic, and I can't do the detail that I can use in this alternative lock set here, which I can color the uh, two sides separately on. So I tend to uh, go for these when I can more often than not. And it, it's really, it's not necessarily that I think the shape's better. It's just they, uh, you can texture them better. Um, so that's where that comes down. I could do, actually, I think, in this case, both angles because that's the whole look I'm going for anyway. So rather than just having that angle, now we'll switch over to this. And now we get both in there and we get uh, a bit of a bevel there. Okay, I think size-wise I'm on track. I um, already got a good portion of its thrusters mounted. It basically is going to need some down thrust. Uh, two more per side of the, the lift thrusters. And I might go again with what I did on this one, like literally um, six um, forward thrusts. So how to make all this fit right? And I'm not going to put anything in here besides ship or not. I'm going to fill it in for now, and who knows, that could be modded or changed later on. i got to be a little bit mindful on how that's going to meet up with that part there, too. transition here. Maybe I could use that as a weird part separation look or something. Or just plug in a very unique block here. That might be able to work on both sides here. And then change this one out to match it. Again, trying to create a separation in parts. It's different. <laughs> different. Not necessarily always a good thing, but uh, maybe. We'll see. My computer just crabbed at me that I got low disk space as I'm recording this. Uh oh, I might need to clean up some stuff. Um, but we'll call this part one. I'm going to try to get another video out after I clean up my uh, computer here of a uh, part two, kind of pushing this forward um, fairly soon, hopefully. Um, we'll see how it all comes out. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you later for now, and another video probably uh, I won't say when but 
I'll, I'll keep on going with this series and, uh, until the, the ship is like done and kind of ready-ish. And uh, we'll see, see how it goes. All right, well, I'll see you later.